to your weekly World Climate Change News Report. Our headlines this week are Climate Change and its Influence on the Political and Social Future, The Cities of the Future, Economic Growth from Climate Change Mitigation, Fossil Fuel Carbon Emissions Could Fall by 2.5 Billion Tons in 2020, March 2020 was the second highest March ever recorded, Lessons Learned from the Climate Crisis to Tackle Climate Change, and how the Middle East is moving towards a more sustainable future. Our first story, climate change and its influence on the political and social future. The climatic consequences are becoming more violent and extreme, ranging from seasonal storms, floods, droughts, and intense precipitations in a short time. Climate change's effects are getting worse, and this generates political and social conflicts making it clear that climate-related disasters can act as a multiplier of threats. Large populations with a relatively low level of economic development are more susceptible to these conflicts. Countries should establish policies and actions to mitigate the consequences of climate change. Our second story, the cities of the future. Resilient and healthy cities could be the future, but how could this be achieved? Apparently, the new urban designs are contemplating more ecological and climate resilient cities with measures in place like increasing the forest masses, taking advantage of the natural water flow, eradicating the use of fossil fuels, and implementing home gardens. The new constructions will try to anticipate the citizens and direct them towards a lifestyle resilient to climate change. Our third story, economic growth from climate change mitigation. A recent study shows that if countries fail to meet the goals set by the Paris Agreement, the world economy could lose between 150 to $800 trillion by the end of this century. This contradicts the popular belief that climate change intervention would be a liability for the country's economies. In addition, the study suggests that whilst all countries would see benefits over the long term, developing nations with high emissions would experience more immediate rewards. Our fourth story, the fossil fuel carbon emissions could fall by 2.5 billion tons in the year 2020. It's been estimated that restrictions on travel, work, and industry due to the outbreak of the coronavirus will cause a reduction of fossil fuel carbon emissions of 2.5 billion tons. This would be the fossil fuel industry's biggest drop in CO2 emissions ever on record. The analysts state the decrease in the demand for crude oil alone would cut 1.8 billion tons of CO2 emissions. This drastic decrease in emissions will have unprecedented effects on the fight against climate change. Our fifth story, March 2020 was the second hottest March ever recorded. Earth's temperatures continued to hit record highs since the start of this year with the hottest January and the second hottest February and March ever recorded, making this year the second hottest year to date. Europe and Asia had their warmest year in the 141 year history recorded. And this year also saw temperature records in Central and South America as well as the Atlantic, Indian, and Western Pacific Oceans. Climate change's broad impact is undeniable, and now we are experiencing its consequences. Our sixth story, lessons learned from the current crisis to tackle climate change. The Secretary General of the United Nations and the CEO of the Global Center on Adaptation presented the lessons learned concerning the recent pandemic and its link with climate change. For both crises, there is no border and poor people are the most affected. We as a whole need to strengthen prevention, which is always better than the cure and solitary between all countries. We also must trust scientists and act swiftly. And our final story, how the Middle East is moving towards a sustainable future. Investors in the Middle East are recognizing the need to prioritize sustainability and the fight against climate change, making them key factors in their business strategies. 
To meet sustainability development goals by 2030, it's been estimated that emerging markets need an annual investment of $2.5 trillion. With access to perennial sunshine and lower financing costs, the tariffs from the renewable energies are now at par with fossil fuel-based power. Solar power is the new oil for the Middle Eastern region. This concludes this week's news. Please subscribe for weekly World Climate Change news updates.